Gary has uh, superseded my expectations because he plays both ends of the court. We, we had pretty high expectations for him. Uh, we knew what he could do and what he was capable of. I think the biggest thing that's been shocking for me is how good a defender he is. I mean, I'm just do, out here doing whatever I can to help the team win, whether that's uh, playing defense, um, knocking down open shots that um, I'm able to get from other players creating for themselves and making it easy on myself, or um, getting rebounds, decisions, doing whatever I can to help the team win. He's one of those rare guys that's able to stand out in the team you know, confines, within the team concept. And, um, you know, he, he still is able to be relatively selfish without it looking bad. And, and I think he understands that we need him to make plays. We need him to score. He's got to be a star for it. It's been hard on me, especially with uh, injuries uh, happening different times throughout the season. And not the same one at all, just uh, two shoulders and a back. I mean, it's, I mean it was, it's tough, but I mean, I just got to keep fighting through it and uh, just keep playing. You know, the toughness he has, you know, little injuries aren't going to keep him out. And, and, and so I think that gives us a, a level of comfort knowing that if Gary's hurt, Gary's out, he's really hurt. Well, you know, his mother was an ex-WNBA uh, player and his dad is a, is a real, real smart guy and a tough guy, great, grew up in Gary, Indiana. You know, they just kind of raised him to to be, he, he's kind of a, uh, uh, my grandma used to call it a, a wise child. He was a football kid and uh, he played football all four years of high school and uh, he, he has that football toughness about him. Uh, I thought a couple games ago that uh, we were gonna have to pull him out of there. He said, no, no, I'm fine. I, he just kind of played through. But Gary continues to find a way and uh, just keep them held together for the for the next month or so. Be in great shape. It, it it surprised me, but it really doesn't because I saw him do it at a at an age where kids just don't play through pain like that. There's no question. I mean, he's one of the tougher guys we got. And no matter how much he's hurt, he can tell you he's not hurt. But, but that's what you love about him. Um, he's uh, he's a competitive kid, and and he has a very high basketball IQ. He's an unbelievable defender. You know, we spend certain times during the scout team trying to trick him or screw him up on different coverages, and the kid just never makes a mistake defensively. Gary is a very tough kid. He's a very competitive kid. You know, he's, he's mature. You talk to him, you think that he's a lot older than what he is, and, you know, he's kind of accepted that, and um, he, he's learned from, he's listened. Um, I'd definitely say my, uh, my shooting, um, I'd definitely, I was playing basketball as long as I can. I really I haven't been a consistent shooter, but I, mean, I really focused on uh, getting the gym and uh, being able to be a consistent knockdown shooter. I, mean, I still have a long ways to go, but I mean, I'm mean i starting to hit shots more consistently. Uh, his, his shooting's been off the charts. I mean, he's really shooting the ball well and uh, being aggressive. Uh, so not really surprised at, at what he's done. Uh, I think we had high expectations. Maybe uh, the fan base didn't. But uh, as coaches, we knew that he was a very good player and nothing he's done to this point other than his defense has really surprised me. I think he's going to get nothing but better. And uh, his best basketball is definitely down the road, but he sure is a fun guy to coach because he listens, he learns, and he does. And that's a good combination.